Welcome to the shop. Tonight I'm gonna to turn this pile of junk into a spare tire holder. I need to put a spare tire on my trailer. I need a way to keep it there, but I also need to move it around. Anyway, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. I grabbed this piece out of the pile of scrap. Um, I used it for a skid plate once. And this is an old weight bench that uh, somebody pulled out of a pile of scrap somewhere, ended up here, and I saw that it had some two inch by three inch tubing, which will fit nicely in the blocks on the side of the trailer. That looks like that ought to work out. You can see we've got them in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zip a weld on all four of those bolts. And then we can run those lug nuts all the way in. I might space out the back if they make sure that these lug nuts don't bottom out on the threads. But uh, we'll get that done, get those welded on, and then we will mount that to there. All right, well, there you go. I got those tacked on there. It's not pretty, but it's gonna work. So I'm gonna take it over here to the uh, rolly benchy thingy and uh, weld them in the rest of the way. With those welded on there, the next step is to put the upright piece on and mark it and clean up the welding. Oh, well, there you have it. I got it tacked on. That's pretty much what it's going to look like. Now the next thing that I have to do is I've got to go out to the trailer and decide how long I want it to be and uh, which side I need to cut off because this doesn't quite fit down in the, in the slot. Tire mounting plate set up. I have the brackets and everything made so that, that can bolt into place and it's just tacked in there. So we're going to come back and clean that up tomorrow and throw it on.
trick with this paint is that if it's not running, it's not thick enough. But uh, here we go. We have a um, fully assembled tire mount thing here. Um, I added some brackets on the bottom here for uh, to help stabilize it because it was a little bit tippy in there. We got a hole drilled in the bottom. We'll put a pin through, get that mounted up, get the tire on it. When it dries, go from there. stopping out and checking out the project that I was working on today. Uh, I can see some room for improvement already on what I uh, on my design here. I think I might be making some modifications to it a little bit, tweaks here or there. Maybe in the future if it rattles around too much I might add a set screw or something to hold it in place. Uh, but as you can see I can pin it on, I can pull it off, I can move it around and I can put it in any one of those slots on the trailer. And that way it's not kicking around the back of my truck or if I loan the trailer out to somebody, it can just go with the trailer and um, not get in our way. Or if it is in our way, we can move it. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping out. If you like this, comment, subscribe, come back for more. If not, thanks for watching and sticking around. We'll see you on the next one.